standings with a 21 point margin over Arutia. In the second race, Jan Elache took a nice to fly victory, the second win of the season for the Frenchman. Frederick Vervish was second in front of Jim Lucas. Muller was fourth and Tarkini, just after he announced his retirement at the end of the season, ended fifth after starting the tournament. Elache extended his lead to 37 points Manage. over Vervish. Russia then hosted the season finale at the end of November. At the start of the first race on a very wet track, Vinay had the best reflex from P3 on the grid and led from Pulsar to Magnus. Behind them, Gurrieri tried to pass the bridge from the side of turn four, but lost control and crashed into the wall. The safety car was deployed to recover the Honda. On the last lap, Mikhail Akhtanov passed Vinay into turn five and went on to win. With a 1.4 second margin over the Frenchman, Vervish completed the podium. Ahead of the other Audi cars of his teammates, Magnus and Berton. Jan Elache finished sixth and so secured a second. It's so good, we are world champion twice. Twice! Yes! Tight, Come on! Several drivers in contention for the crown until the very end. Motorsport and Cooper with their second victory of the day. The Brit won in front of Berbish and Beton. Tassi was fourth, Vinay fifth, and Elache sixth. Yes! The joy yes! for the Zengo yes! team was yes! immense. Yes! 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 In the championship standings, Berbish finished second behind Elache with Vinay third. The TCR Germany season finale took place at the Nürburgring. In the first race, Martin Anderson made good use of pole position to keep a charging Marcel Fugel at bay. Eric Scalvini and Nico Gruber followed in third and fourth, while Dominic Fugel made a great getaway, moving up from P8 on the grid to fifth. On lap two, Dominic Fugel took to the inside of Eric Scalvini, who closed the gap. Their cars made contact and Scalvini spun, rejoining in twelfth position. The stewards judged Fugel to be guilty for the incident and imposed a drive-through penalty that Fugel served on lap 12, dropping to 8th. On lap 18, there was this contact between Marcel Fugel and Nico Gruber while battling for second. The Hyundai punted Fugel's Honda into a half-spin, but the positions didn't change, and Fugel managed to retain second place until the end. So this was how Martin Anderson claimed his maiden victory in TCR Germany. The Dane moved up to second in the standings behind Engschler, who'd already secured the title in the penultimate event and didn't participate in the season finale. In race two, Anderson, starting again from pole, led the field away. Despite being first to turn one, he was hit by the Honda Civic of Marcel Fugel and half spun, dropping to the back of the field, while Robin Yar also dropped several places after being forced to run wide to avoid Anderson's car. Marcel Fugel was swiftly handed a drive-through penalty for causing the collision. Anderson then desperately started a recovery to defend his second position in the championship. And on the very last lap, he managed to pass Legutko for fifth, grabbing the necessary points, with Jonas Karklis also passing Simon Ladniak to take the win. 
For Karklis, this was his maiden victory in TCR Germany. Lavniak and Gruber completed the podium in second and third, and Dominic Fugel was fourth. Anderson's fifth place meant he outscored Dominic Fugel by a single point in the fight for P2 in the driver's standings. The IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge was at Road Atlanta for the season finale. Tim Lewis drove his KMW Motorsports Alfa Romeo Giulietta Veloce through a high-speed traffic jam in the last 20 minutes of competition to record the TCR class victory. The Honda Civic, shared by Tyler Stone and Ryan Eversley, emerged from a last lap scramble to finish second in the race, beating the Hyundai Veloster of Tyler Maxson and Tyler Gonzalez by just one tenth. Parker Chase and Ryan Norton finished fourth, two further tenths behind and two tenths ahead. And so Chase wound up second in the final standings. With their second win of the season, Lewis and co-driver Roy Block went from seventh to third in the standings, while Taylor Hagler and Michael Lewis, sharing a Hyundai Veloster N, finished fifth in the race and so clinched the TCR Championship title. Bragin's Audi spun off and crashed backwards into the tyre wall. Bragin managed to rejoin, but his chances of grabbing the title were effectively over. The TAF went on to play his second win of the season from Oruchev and Artem Slutsky, who finished on the podium for the first time on only his second appearance in the championship. Mladic Jim was classified fourth and so secured the title with one race still remaining. The start of the second race was again very close. Slutsky soon retired because of the crash, while Kalmanovic emerged as the leader and managed to control a charging Bragin throughout the race. Kalmanovic won the race, his third victory this season, while Bragin was second and Mityeyev completed the podium. Bragin secured second place in the standings behind Ladijin, while Mityeyev's third position enabled the Lada Sport driver to complete the championship podium three points ahead of Maslenikov. TCR South America raced in Rio Cuarto in Argentina for the fifth event of the season. Eva Franetovic, driving a Lincoln Co and debuting in the series, got away cleanly at the start of the first race, while behind him, Bessone, Fluka, Sapag and Marquez were fighting for P2. Bessone went wide onto the grass at Turn 2 and rejoined in 10th place, while Pepe Oriola benefited from the situation and moved up to third. As a light rain began to fall, Fluka and Oriola closed in on Franetovic, and on lap 10, Oriola overtook Fluka for second. Then Oriola and Fluka began pressuring Franetovic through every corner, but the Argentinian strenuously defended his lead. Franetovic took his maiden win in the championship, the first for an Argentinian driver in TCR South America. Behind him, Fluka pipped Oriola at the last turn to finish second. Sapag ended up fourth in front of Reis and Marquez. 
the start of the second race, both Roy Block and Adalberto Baptista, who shared the front row, had a slow getaway. Ori and his teammate Reyes, managed to pass. However, Rodrigo Baptista hit the back of Reyes' Honda, triggering a chain reaction, which also involved Oriola and Sapai. The latter remained stranded in the gravel, prompting the safety car into action. On lap five, touring car action at its best thrilled the spectators. The top four cars all arrived together into turn one. Flicker and Fernetovic took advantage from the battle between Marquez and Bessone to pass them both on the inside. Flicker managed to reject Frenetovic's attacks and eventually built a gap of a few seconds over the last few laps on his way to claim his maiden win ahead of Frenetovic and Bessone. Oriola's fourth place put the Spaniard back on top of the driver's standings. TCR South America then remained in Argentina, moving to Buenos Aires for the following meeting, the second endurance race of the season. Thirteen cars were on the grid, with some international touring car stars like Esteban Guerrieri, Nestor Girolami and Tom Coronel joining the battle. The rolling start saw pole sitter Matias Mia leading the field in front of Sapag and Girolami. Girolami quickly moved into P2 and then snatched the lead from Mia on lap three with this overtaking manoeuvre into turn one. Pit stops began on lap 15, and Sapag was the first of the top drivers to hand his car to his teammate Guerrieri. The second part of the race began with Reis in the lead, a few seconds ahead of Rosso and Guerrieri. There were no further changes, and Reis took the chequered flag in front of Rosso, with Guerrieri in third position. Coronel, Oriola and Bessone followed, filling the positions from fourth to sixth. Reis relaunched his bid for the title, reducing his gap from the leader and teammate Oriola to 16 points, while Rodrigo Baptista remains in second position, exactly halfway between the pair. Thank <laughs> you.